Hi there, this is the Tuareg Alain and does it deserve 290,000 dirhams? Let me tell you all about it, interior, exterior and how it drives. Let's start. First things first, the front look of the Tuareg Alain. Come on guys, I mean like when you look at it, it's such a nice looking SUV. I really love this murdered out look, which is the black on black. And because it is the R-Line package, so it does have a little bit of add-ons, which makes it a little bit more special than the normal Touareg. For example, you get this black line over here and the insert of black around the lights. And of course, the grille is on a black. And of course, you get this R-Line cool badge. I mean, whenever you get a Volkswagen model and there's this R-Line package, you know that there is a little bit of special things on it. And now coming to the side of the Tuareg, as you can see, it just it continues this black on black sporty language, let's say. I really love the style. It's just, it kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Let's start with the sport back roof line. I love how the spoiler ends over here. It, it, it just, it adds this nice contouring that makes the whole body looks very smooth and sporty at the same time and not, let's say, overdone, if you guys get what I mean. Wheels, 21 inch, gloss black, comes with the package, the R-Line package. And for the doors, they're all keyless, but there is something that I was really impressed is it has the soft closing option. Look at this. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit. Push it. And it closed by itself. Such a nice thing. So the back of the Tuareg Online continues the same black on black, sporty design. I love how it has this really wide and muscular stance. Gives it more of this sportiness language. I really like this. Really love how the spoiler is in black. The tail lights are all a little bit tinted and the bumper is in black. And one of the things that I really, I was really, really, really impressed with is the exhaust. They're not fake. They're actually real and functional and they're big and stainless. It's just, I really, really like it. For the boot, the tailgate is electric. And honestly, even with the seats not folded, you get a lot of space over here, which is really nice. And you get a feature where you can actually lower the car by pressing a button over here because Tuareg R-Line has air suspension. And to fold the seats, you can just pull these and they're gonna go by itself. And you get around 810 liters of space. The Tuareg R-Line is a five-seater. And the moment that you get into the interior, you just feel that the Volkswagen put a lot of effort into the design and somehow to make you feel that you're not in any Tuareg, you are in the Tuareg R-Line. So it really, really feels nice to be inside. I mean, let's start with the dashboard. You get the soft material. You get this really weird plastic trim over here. And of course you get ambient lighting that you can change into different colors. They really look nice at night. And for the center console, it's just, it's really nice, really comfortable to put your hands on. Really nice design over here with this piano black insert. You get two cup holders. One of the first things that would just attract your eye is the huge infotainment system over here, which is 15 inch. It has Apple CarPlay, it has Android Auto. And, but the big, big, big downside about it is the reverse camera. It feels a little bit outdated. It doesn't have the 360 view and just the whole quality feels a little bit, you know, old. But it's fun, that's the job. Of course, you get the parking sensor at the front and the rear. Just the whole system, honestly, is just straight to the point, really crisp. I love how, like, when you change into many options, it's just, it's really nice, very responsive. Everything is very colorful and nice. And you get two knobs. The one on the right to control the air suspension. You get three levels. And the one on the left, you can change between the drive modes. You get the normal mode, the comfort mode, the eco mode, the sport mode, the individual mode, and the off-road and the snow mode. Yeah, you get plenty of drive modes, which is really nice and shows you how the Tuareg is kind of capable to go on all type of terrains. 
I mean, if you're going to take it to the desert, it can actually drive in the desert, but you're not gonna go dune bashing with it. I mean, yeah, it just feels bad to take these cars. These cars are more meant on road, but yeah, it's just nice to have those extra off-road modes if you wanna do something a little bit mean extra let's say for the center storage you get plenty of storage it's not bad it's just decent i have my wallet over here uh, my house keys and you get a usb input over here now for the seats they're all electric leather they all have the heating and ventilation options which is nice for the steering wheel it's wrapped in leather i really love the middle part of the steering wheel it just feels really nice to hold it you get the flat bottom with the R logo, yeah, to make you feel a little bit special that you're not in any Tuareg, again, the Tuareg R line. On the right, you can control the cluster screen, go through your options, you know, the regular standard options in any U gen car these days. Of course, the cluster screen is all digital, so that's a big plus. It looks really nice and crisp. On the left, you can control your adaptive cruise control. You can shift between your soundtracks and you can control the volume. Although I do find it a little bit weird that the middle AC vents are placed over here, which is a little bit weird because I can barely get the air on me or on my face. So it's a little bit unpractical to put it here. I mean, I wish if they just put it on top of the infotainment system or somewhere in the middle, but it's fine, yeah. Just the whole thing looks really nice. And of course, you get the huge panoramic roof, which is one of my favorite things in any SUV. And now for the back seats. Honestly, it's just really big. Why there's a big why for it? Because the Tuareg is a big SUV. And since this is a five seater, so logically you're gonna get more space for the boot and the back seats. As you can see, I have a lot of knee room between my knees and the front seats. It just it feels really nice. I don't feel claustrophobic somehow. It's just a really nice place to be. And honestly, I could imagine this car to be driven by a driver and I could be a businessman. It really suits this vibe, let's say. Driving the Tuareg is just one of those experiences that, you know, I've test drove a lot of SUVs before. And I can say that this Tuareg is one of the best SUV I've ever driven in my life. It is just such a nice driving SUV. You do feel really, really, really comfortable driving it. It's just super smooth, super soft. And like whenever you need that power, it just it gives you that power. The air suspension does a really nice job of giving you that soft experience whenever you need it. You know, it's just very comfortable. And at the same time, if you put it on sport mode, it's going to give you that really nice stiffness whenever you're going into a turn or a roundabout. For the noise insulation, again, really nice job. I was going around 120, 130 on the highway. And I can say that I was barely hearing anything except for the plastic bag that I forgot to put it the right way it's, it's super annoying anyways I'm driving I can't just hold it the car is a little bit heavy it is around 2300 kilograms and yeah so this number is 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 not a small number it is heavy but you get the v6 turbo engine producing around 340 horsepower and 450 newton meter of torque which is a really really good number for such a heavy car for the fuel the tank capacity on this is around 75 liters. So if you live in Dubai and you're gonna refuel the full tank with special, it's gonna be around between 310 and 330 dirhams. Honestly, not bad for the current fuel prices. It is really not bad. And if I look at the screen, the fuel consumption right now, the average fuel consumption is around 13.2 liter for each 100 kilometers. Really not bad for such a heavy car, for a V6 turbo. Yeah, pretty much a really good number. My conclusion and verdict on this Tuareg R-Line. Look, in my opinion, 
it is a little bit, a little bit expensive. 290,000 dirhams. I could get a lot of other SUVs with this price and almost the same features. But of course, it's never, never, never gonna be a German logo on it. So that's one of the plus sides of this Tuareg. But if I had the money and I could get the chance to buy the Tuareg, it could be on my shortlisted cars. I really love it, looks nice, drives nice, very comfortable, just I could take my family in it or my friends in it. It's just a very nice looking car, does the job really well and Volkswagen did a really, really, really awesome job on this vehicle. So yeah, let me know your opinions guys down in the comments and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review and see you on the next one. Peace.